Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. When are inmates considered for parole? Inmates are considered for parole based on specific guidelines and criteria, which vary by jurisdiction but generally follow a similar framework. Eligibility criteria. In the United States, parole eligibility is typically determined by the type of sentence an inmate received from the court. For federal inmates, parole eligibility occurs after completing one-third of the term, unless the court has specified a minimum time to serve or an indeterminate sentence. Parole eligibility date. The parole eligibility date is the earliest time an offender might be paroled. This date is calculated based on the length of the sentence and any good time credits earned. Sentence length considerations. For inmates serving life sentences or terms of 30 years or more, parole eligibility generally begins after 10 years. In some states, life sentences with the possibility of parole may have a specified minimum term that must be served before parole eligibility, such as 30 or 40 years. Institutional conduct. Inmates must have substantially observed the rules of the institution to be considered for parole. Good behavior and participation in rehabilitation programs can also influence eligibility dates. Application and review process. To be considered for parole, inmates typically must fill out a parole application provided by a case manager. The Parole Commission or State Parole Board then reviews the application and may conduct a hearing to determine whether parole should be granted. Hearing and decision. During the parole hearing, the board considers various factors, including the inmate's criminal history, participation in rehabilitation programs, and expressions of remorse. The victim of the crime may also be allowed to attend the hearing. Conditional release. If an inmate is not granted parole, they may still be released through conditional release, which is determined by a review of their incarceration behavior and participation in prison programs. This review is usually conducted four months prior to their conditional release date. Post-release supervision. Once paroled, inmates are under the supervision of a parole officer until their term expires or they are discharged from parole. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions we're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.